Hello everyone. Welcome to part 8 of this playlist. We'll be talking about air proximity calls or air procs as we know them. So what essentially is air proximity or air procs? It is when there is a loss of separation between any two aircrafts. Now this could be because of the ATC's mistake, this could be because of the pilot's mistake. So we'll not get into that. It is just the loss of separation. In simple terms if I were to say, it is just when two aircrafts get extremely close to each other. Now There are two different phrases we use. One of them is air proc safety not assured and the second is air proc risk of collision. Now these are phrases that you use. Okay, so I'll put them in inverted commas. This is something that you have to repeat or say as it is. So what does air proc risk of collision mean? It means that an aircraft was dangerously close. It was at a distance of less than 10 kilometers. No, uh, 10 nautical miles from you. and the, hence this was a risk of collision there was a risk of collision that existed on the second there is air proc safety not assured this talks about any aircraft that was not close that was not very close to you there was no ex, you know imminent risk of collision but it was uh, not complying with whatever separation was supposed to be followed basically safety not assured was that hey i did not feel safe Yes the aircraft was not on a collision path with me it was not as close to me for a collision to happen but there was a, a reduction in separation that was supposed to be maintained that's in that situation you use the phrase air proc safety not assured if an aircraft is as close as 10 nautical miles to you or lesser than that in that case you use air proc risk of collision okay so these are two phrases very straightforward these questions i personally uh, like these questions because you can straight away quote the question itself in the paper and it makes things very easy there's very less for us to remember after that so let's quickly look at the format the format includes station called basically whom i who which station are you calling then you have to report an air prox so any time there is an air proximity or there is a case of air proximity you have to report it to the atc that okay so and so aircraft i am in so and so aircraft was you know in the path of my collision and what time did all of this happen this is the basic gist of what you want to tell the atc saying that okay this was this this is me in aircraft a there was an aircraft b and aircraft b and a got extremely close to each other and you describe the incident so let's look at the exact format we follow so you'll have station called you'll declare an air prox you'll tell them safety not assured or risk of collision depending upon the situation you'll give them your call sign you'll read out the frequency you're transmitting on you'll tell them the type of aircraft you are in if you're an airbus if you're a boeing if you're a trainer aircraft if you're a cessna you'll tell them that then you'll tell them if you're flying in imc or vmc conditions okay what rules are you following rather are you flying ifr are you flying vfr you'll tell them your current position you'll give them a basic position report you'll tell them position in terms of dme time flight level and route you'll give them your tas and then you'll give a brief description of the incident now this is the part where you quote the question okay so let's quickly go over it again what all do you have to cover you have to cover the station called basically whom are you going to call probably could be mumbai control chennai control whoever area you are in whoever jurisdiction you are in you're going to call them air proc safety not assured or risk of collision what is your current call sign what aircraft are you what flight rules are you flying in are you flying an ifr flight are you a vfr flight what's your current position then what's your current tas and a brief description of the incident basically all your basic details that they require to position you and followed by a brief description of the incident so let's quickly look at the question so the question says that we are one flight taking off from vidp and we are coming down to bombay we are flying only alpha route 474 So if you look at the previous if you look at a map from uh, Delhi Papa November we have Alpha 474 go to Ikaba okay that's here and we know on the second map Ikaba connects to Juliet Juliet Papa that's here right there's Ikaba coming from Delhi then there's Alpha 474 and then there's a complete Alpha 474 all the way to Bravo 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 or Bombay now they tell us that we are in um, we are flying from vidp to vabb we are an air india 4961 we are flying under I, uh, instrument flight rules at, we've departed at 1850 hours route alpha 474 type is an airbus now the question itself says that you are 10 nautical miles from pratapgarh one if aircraft crossed your flight level and ascending phase okay 
take action. So now you know, 10 nautical miles from Pratapgarh, IAF aircraft cross your flight level in ascending phase. Now, this if it's mentioned, the most general situation if you don't have enough details, unless it's specifically mentioned that he's crossed within 10 nautical miles of you, you'll preferably not use risk of collision. Again, depends upon how the questions are framed over, over this, but majority you'll be using safety not assured itself. Okay. So in our case, let's position our aircraft according to the given question. They tell us that we are 10 nautical miles from Pratapgarh. Okay. Let's say that this is 10 nautical miles from Pratapgarh. Fine. Now, an IAF aircraft crossed our path at the same flight level. What? Uh, huh. So now we have to give an air props. So how do we start over it? Whom are we going to call? Now, we are in the jurisdiction of whom? We are in the jurisdiction of Ahmedabad control, if you notice. Right? We are in their control. So, we'll contact Ahmedabad control. Then, what all do you have to provide? You are here. Okay. So, what all details do you have to provide? Ahmedabad control, that's your station called. Followed by air prox. That's the message you're going to pass on. Safety not assured. Okay. What's your call sign? You're an Air India 4961 on 134,2. In this case, 123,75. I'm an Airbus aircraft flying in IMC conditions. Position 10 DME from Pratapgarh, 1945 hours, flight level 340 on Alpha 474. Current task being maintained is 480 knots. At 1944 hours, sighted an IF aircraft, crossed through my flight level in ascending phase, approximately 11 nautical miles ahead, and then flew towards Bhopal. Now, see, since the question particularly did not mention any number of how far the aircraft was, and I myself have used safety not assured. I give the aircraft's position as 11 nautical miles because had I given anything else or lesser than 10 or 10 even, then I would have had to use risk of collision here. Okay. I hope that makes sense. So anything less than 10 risk of collision has to be used here. I use safety not assured. Hence, I have to tell them that, hey, the distance of between me and the aircraft was definitely greater than 10. So let's go over the complete call. So. Your 10 nautical miles from Pratapgarh, one IF aircraft has crossed your flight level in ascending phase. So, how is the call going to go about? Ahmedabad control, air prox, safety not assured, Air India 49061134,2. I'm an Airbus aircraft flying IMC, position 10 DME from Pratapgarh, 1945 hours, flight level 340 on Alpha 474. TAS 480 knots at 1944 hours, sighted an IF aircraft, crossed through my flight level and ascending phase approximately 11 nautical miles ahead and then flew towards Bhopal. That is it. Okay, so quote the question in the end. Apart from that, it's all basic information. Whom are you going to call? What is air proc? Safety not assured. Your call sign on frequency. What aircraft are you? What flight rules are you flying in? And what's your position? What's your task? It's that simple. Okay, so this sums up what an air proximity call is going to sound like. In our next video, we'll be talking about what um, what happens when you enter a prohibited area and what happens when you enter a restricted area and how do you tackle these situations over RTR. All right. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video. If you're looking for a place to clear your DGC exams, consider joining Wingman Aviation. We are an affordable ground school based out of Pune and provide one-on-one -on -one sessions, regular testing and personalized lessons to make sure that you conceptually understand and ace your DGCA CPL exams. Also, if you're liking the content that we share here, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting aviation content. Thanks for being a part of the Wingman community. Safe travels, happy landing and I'll see you in the class again.